Hey, Joystick News family. Today, we're diving deep into one of Nintendo's most intriguing and meta creations ever. The Mini Marios from the Mario vs. Donkey Kong series. This isn't just a walk down memory lane. It's a full-on exploration of how Nintendo continues to innovate, surprise, and downright amuse us with its self-referential genius. So, let's jump right in, shall we? The Meta Magic of Mini Marios Imagine this. A universe where Mario isn't just the hero, but also the CEO of his own toy company, churning out miniature versions of himself. Sounds like a wild fan theory, right? Wrong. This is the actual premise of the Mario vs. Donkey Kong series, which has taken the concept of playing with yourself to an entirely new level. The series kicked off back in 2004 on the Game Boy Advance, introducing us to the Mini Marios, toy replicas of our beloved plumber, navigating puzzles and obstacles, all within the confines of a Mario-themed toy factory. The Evolution of Self-Referential Gameplay over the years, Nintendo doubled down on this concept, especially in titles like Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2, March of the Minis and Mario vs. Donkey Kong, Minis March Again, where the original Mario took a backseat to his pint-sized doppelgangers. These games weren't just about getting from pointed to B, they were a celebration of Mario's legacy, repackaged in a form that could only be described as Nintendo in its purest essence. Breaking new ground with our Fast forward to today, and Nintendo's promotional strategies have evolved, bringing the minis into the real world with augmented reality. A recent short film featuring these tiny titans not only rekindled our love for them, but also showcased Nintendo's mastery over blending the real with the virtual. Watching a parade of mini Marios traverse a real bedroom, interacting with the environment in a way that only Nintendo could imagine, was nothing short of magical. Why this matters? You might be wondering, why all the fuss over some toy Marios? Here's the thing. It's not just about the toys or the tech. It's about how Nintendo manages to keep its universe fresh, engaging, and self-aware. The mini Marios represent a layer of creativity that few franchises can boast, turning a simple concept into a multi-layered narrative and marketing goldmine. The bigger picture. This isn't Nintendo's first rodeo with self-referential content. The Paper Mario series and WarioWare games are testament to that. However, the Mini Marios take this concept to another level. They're not just characters, they're a commentary on the Mario universe itself, a miniature, meta-reflection of its vastness and versatility. Personal Take As a longtime follower of all things Nintendo, I find the Mini Marios to be a brilliant blend of nostalgia, innovation, and humor. They're a reminder of Nintendo's unique position in the gaming industry, capable of celebrating its past while pushing the boundaries of what's possible in gaming and storytelling. The R short is just a glimpse of how Nintendo continues to explore new ways to engage and surprise us. Looking ahead. So, what's next for the Mini Marios? If Nintendo's track record is anything to go by, we can expect more innovation, more delightful surprises, and yes, hopefully, a line of Mini Mario toys that'll have us throwing our wallets at the screen. Nintendo has proven time and again that when it comes to reinventing their flagship character, the possibilities are endless. And if they ever decide to miniaturize Miyamoto and crew, well, consider it a pre-order from me. Closing thoughts. In a world where gaming franchises often struggle to stay relevant, Nintendo's Mario vs. Donkey Kong and its mini Marios stand as a testament to the enduring power of creativity and self-reinvention. It's a playful, meta-commentary on the very nature of gaming and a reminder of why we fell in love with Mario in the first place. What do you think about the Mini Marios and Nintendo's approach to innovation and self-reference? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, I'd love to hear your takes, theories, and wishes for the future of Nintendo's most meta creation yet. Until next time, keep gaming, keep dreaming, and never lose your sense of wonder. Joystick News, signing off.